My name is Dr. Anna Marie Gerak, and I would like to share with you the common cause of low back pain and pelvic pain during pregnancy caused by SI instability. A little over half of women experience an increase in low back or pelvic pain during pregnancy. During pregnancy, there's lots of changes that go on in your body. There's changes in the way that your body's weight distributes, weight gain, and there's an increase in the curve in your low back. This all wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have an increase in the hormone relaxin. And the goal of it is to allow the ligaments to relax so the baby can go through the birth canal when the big time comes. However, it doesn't just pick and choose the ligaments in your pelvis. It affects all of the different ligaments in your body. Your SI joints normally have a very limited range of motion. They only move a few millimeters at a time. This all changes while you're pregnant. The hormone relaxin allows more movement than normal and makes it way easier to shear those joints, resulting in pain for you. The joint that we're talking about today is your sacroiliac joint or your SI joint. It's the joint that connects the base of the spine or the sacrum to your two ilium. You have two of them. One can shift more than the other or they can both shift equally. Doing this exercise can help cue the glute muscles that cross the SI joints to stabilize while these ligaments aren't quite doing their job on the team. The exercise I'm going to show you today is the core assisted glute bridge. Start laying on your back, bring your heels just to kind of where the edge of where your fingertips touch. If you have a foam roller, it's best to put it in between your knees. Start by either pressing your hands into the floor or by squeezing the foam roll in between your knees to start by activating your core. Feel that there's a little bit of an increase in tension and keep your low back neutral. You're going to lift your hips up in a straight line between the tops of your knees and the back. And you can either do these in sequence of reps or you can lift your hips and hold. Make sure that you're squeezing your butt muscles together. You should feel it right in your glutes. Work your way up to doing as many of these as you can do perfectly. In doing the core assisted glute bridge, the most important thing is repetition. It's more important to do this a few minutes, multiple times per day, than it is to do it once every few days for a longer period of time. The more often you do this integrated throughout your day-to-day -day activities, the more effective it's gonna be in terms of preventing your low back pain and helping you have a longer, stronger pregnancy. That was really good.